welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing well oh it's been a while since i last uploaded something but today i just felt like i wanted to kind of review all of the gucci limited items that were released not that long ago during the gucci garden event that not a lot of people like by the way but um, nobody had thought that the items they were going to sell were going to become a limited item. Uh, I just wanted to review them all to just to get my overall general opinion on all of them. It's going to be kind of quick, quick, simple, you know, nothing too serious. But anyways, let's begin with the first one. I think it was that was released. All right, then. Let's go. Alright, I believe the first item that was released was the Gucci Dionysus bag with the B. Now, I remember when this first released, people didn't think that these items were going to be limited. Which is why this one, in particular, is the most expensive one out of them all. No surprise in there, because I think there's only like 200 people that have them or something like that. So obviously, the less amount of people that have it the more higher the price is gonna be. But I've also heard people saying that the items are gonna, like the value or prices are gonna go up, which I don't think they are, just mainly due to the fact that the rest of them, besides this one, a lot of people have, and I don't think they're gonna go up in value. Prove me wrong, but I don't think they're gonna go in value, honestly. Anyways, let's see what the next one was that they released. Well, in no particular order, I guess. <laughs> All right, next is the Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag. This one, overall, it's okay. <laughs> Nothing really special, honestly. You know, a bag recreated from the Arc Evil design with the same lines and forms. First introduced over six dec- dec- I can't talk. Over six decades ago. <laughs> Pretty good looking bag. Not my favorite, though. But anyways, let's see what our next one is. Next, we got the Gucci Geometric Bag. Uh, this one is... This unique bag has a structural diamond shape, twin carry handles, and GG moniker. Uh, excuse me. Not really a fan of the bags, TBH. But needless to say, good looking bag. But again, too many people have them, so not really a lot in value there. <laughs> anyways, let's check our next bag i think it is next we got the gucci spike basketball bag now this one is i think this one's a little bit more cooler because it's basketball and it has spikes on there like look at that look at that that looks cool a basketball shaped bag with the silver tone spikes and 80s glam rock and punk influences nice very nice all right let's check out the next item all right all right next one we got the gucci sunglasses with the crystals Obviously, you can't see them that well with my character, but needless to say, they look they look bleh. Honestly, Gucci sunglasses shaped as leaves embezzled with 1600 multicolored crystals. Too bad there ain't real crystals. I don't like these glasses though, honestly. I give it, I don't know, something. Something not. <laughs> but let's check out the next one, shall we? Next, we got the Gucci Gigi Marmont bag. The Gigi Marmont bag, Metalist bag, is bright pink central part of fall winter 2016 collection pink bag a simple pink bag which i'm pretty sure in real life costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars what a waste of money to be it <laughs> um anyways i like the pink on there again not something i'd wear, wear though because you know why would i <laughs> not much to say about this bag other than it's pink but anyways let's check on the next item shall we Next, we got the Gucci Ghost Bag. Gucci embraced the graffiti concept in collaboration with the artist Gucci Ghost. Gucci Ghost. That's a neat name. Gucci Ghost. Anyways, let's see. Black bag with some yellow stars and GG on there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad, shall we say. Anyways, let's check out our next item. Alright, our next bag here is the Gucci... I might say this wrong. Dionysus bag, the Gucci Dionysus, whatever, however you say that, shoulder bag made its debut in Cruise 2016 with its bright bloom pattern on striking red. Let's see here, it's a flower, just not really red, more like a light red color-ish. Not bad though, very not bad, honest. But again, not much to say about these, they're just simple, good, 
items. <laughs> Let's see what our next one is. All right, next we got the Gucci Bloom Perfume. Gucci Bloom Perfume is recreated as the back piece for Roblox players. It's a fucking backpack? Who wants to smell like Gucci, man? Get the spray. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's too big for the back, but again, not for me. I have it, but it's not. For it's not for me. I don't know who it's for. All I know, it's not for me. <laughs> Let's check out the next one. Next, we got the Gucci wide brim felt hat. This wide brim hat is completed by an oversized satan i can't think of the word brim without thinking of that guy saying yankee with no brim so just seeing this is just it brings back that meme <laughs> anyways i like the way this looks honestly you know it reminds me of a different uh black hat like this but it's like much larger i don't know the name some people might know what i'm talking about <laughs> All right, let's check out the next item, shall we? All right, next we got the Gucci Diamond Frame Sunglass. Diamond Frame Sunglass is reimagined in a futuristic way. Presented in a two-tone... I was gonna read something else on there, but no, it's just uh, created by them. You can't really, again, with these ones, you can't really see on my character, but they're just like any other twin glasses. Nothing really special about them. Though, I do kind of like how they're different colors, but there's other shades that are like that. Which I'm pretty sure look better than these ones, but not much to say. Again, <laughs> and I think the next item is gonna be the last one. Shh, let's check it out, shall we? All right, next we got the Gucci headband, inspired by the sweatbands worn in the '80s. Ah, the '80s. The elastic hair brand features a Gucci. Where's the print though? It just says Gucci on top. That's literally it. Gee, I wonder how much this headband costs in stores. Mm, maybe how about a hundred bucks? More than likely. Do I care? Not really. Anyways, so far I think that's everything. I feel like I might have missed one. If I did, if you could kindly remind me in the comments or so. So I don't look like an idiot, like I already do. But overall, I think all the Gucci items, they're meh. You know, at best. Again, the first bag, Obviously, it's going to cost more because the less people have it. But everything else, I honestly don't think is going to go up in value. People say they are going to go up in value, but you can prove me wrong. I don't think that they are. But it's good to have new limiteds. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this little review, I guess you could call it, of the new limited hats that were released. What else can I say? Um, Leave a like, subscribe as we're close to 500 subscribers uh send me trades but no low balls please and i don't know um go play some video games or something i don't know <laughs> that's what i do anyways i will see you guys in the next video whenever that is and i hope you enjoy i will see you later goodbye